Hello and welcome to Total Health with Dr. Nick and Katie. And Katie. <laughs> Katie's <Katie>. here today, yeah. <laughs> And thank you so much for joining us today. I've got a great video. Of course, I've been getting a lot of requests for a cooking video, so I wanted to do one today. And as you guys know, our videos on cooking are very simple, very clean, and very healthy. We always want to keep it those three things, right? And I know you've been asking for a cookbook, so it is on its way. We are working on it right now feverishly. And I'll be giving you some videos on that, showing you how to use it. It's a really interesting kind of cookbook. It's very functional, and it's got a lot of links, so you're going you're gonna to like it. So anyway... Before we get started, you know what I like to do lately is give shout outs to our keto rock stars today. And we've got one that Katie's going to do. And try not to get choked up during it because it's going to be really, really uh, inspirational and emotional. But this comes from Dan and MJ. And they were in Colorado. Colorado. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Take it away. Yay. And who's Dan and MJ? They are they keto are rock stars. Totally keto, keto rock, rock stars. Star. Yeah, in <laughs> fact, that's corny, but they really are. I, 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 let me just say one thing. Dan asked me a while ago. Uh, I want to say probably four, five, six months ago, for a headshot that he wanted to put in his basement. <laughs> autographed and everything next to all his other pictures and he's got all these celebrities and I said Dan I will send you this picture on one condition I get posted or put right next to Stallone <laughs> I need to be next to Sly the two Italians are right next to each other so we have anyway. a picture of it actually sent yeah he sent us a picture and I'll, I'll post that we'll put that picture up yeah, anyway so all right he he's, um, feels like he knows us uh, since you know we uh, we're very open and close to all of our subscribers, or we yep. try to be. I mean, it's tough sometimes, but we try Love to Love and appreciate everybody. you guys. Yep, absolutely. So he says, um, let me tell you something quick about myself. A little more than a year and a half ago, I was driving home from work. A young girl texting on her phone ran through a stoplight and totaled my car. I woke up in an ambulance not knowing what happened, scared the mm out of me, and get this, my mother... Uh, was sitting next to the guy working on me in the ambulance or him Just sitting there smiling at me funny thing is my mother has been dead for over 10 years Ooh, I wow. <laughs> <laughs> And so maybe I, some of you have experienced that I've personally yeah, my mom passed away about 30 almost 30 years ago and we still See, you know images or dreams yeah. and things like that. So yeah, yeah so they're, they're watching over us. They are they are <laughs> So I knew she must uh, have been trying to tell me something. Maybe I was worse than what I thought. So two months after my accident, when I finally went back to work, I told MJ, his wife, that I was retiring. Mm -hmm. So at 59, I said, life is too short, and why keep working if we don't have to? So honey, I'm closing in on that soon too, so do you I. You gonna retire? No, you can't No, retire. I can't retire, I can't retire, no. <laughs> and MJ said, do you care if I retire too? I said, yeah, go ahead, let's both retire. So our new job is working out, eating I like healthy, that job. and trying to stay in the best shape ever. Uh -huh. So finding your husband has been a godsend. Nick and Thomas DeLauer have helped us tremendously. More that, than that's, you will that's ever pretty know. good company, by the way. I, I mean, know. He's a great He's guy. got a big channel. He knows a lot. Yeah. And Nick's video always makes us smile. We try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we Sorry do. for the rambling, but I get a lot more emotional after my accident. And that's totally fine, Dan. I mean... Yeah, I can imagine. We are too. And I just <clears throat> wanted you to know how much Nick has helped us. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, he says, P.S. Nick needs to put on the back of his shirt, uh, quote, you're a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> um, awesome. And then he just sent me this morning, which I'd like to read. Mm -hmm. um, he said, last thing, then it's on to working out. So good for you guys. My wife, MJ, or Mary Jo, was 168 pounds when we started keto. She is now three pounds away from our wedding day. Which <laughs> I think How many people could actually say that, right? Yeah. Well, which will be 30 years in February. Congratulations, Congratulations. <laughs> in advance. Yeah. And I, or Dan, was 195 pounds when I started keto, mm -hmm. and I'm now 175 pounds. All right, very good. And, thank and you know you what guys. that makes you guys? You are keto rock stars, so very good, very good. Yay. We are so happy. So anyway, let's, get, let's get on with the cooking here. So I'll let you do the cooking because... That's what I do. That's what I do. <laughs> Thanks, honey. All right, so today, you know we're all about clean cooking, healthy cooking, and keeping it simple. So today I want to make a dish for you. It's basically 
How many of you guys have ever heard of cauliflower rice? So that's what this is going to be. But cauliflower rice is such a great base for other things. You can use it for so many other dishes, so many other, uh, you know, whether you want to put chicken with it or if you do want pork or fish, anything, you can turn it into a risotto, you can turn it into a regular type of, you know, with asparagus and broccoli. So it is very versatile and you can do a lot of things with it. So first thing I'm going to do is I just went ahead and cut the cauliflower in half. So cauliflower is cut in half. And what I'm going to do is use this old fashioned grater that this was my mom. So that tells you how old this thing is. It's probably 50, 60 years old and it still looks great. But all you're going to do is just simply take the cauliflower and put it on the coarse side and then just grate it. And that's really it. And you're going to keep going. Of course, it's going to fly around. It's going to make a little bit of a mess. So you might want to use a, a bigger uh, bowl but you just keep grating it down. That's really all it comes down to. Over and over. And like I said, a bigger bowl the better. Watch your fingers. Yeah. I got patience to see today, so I have to make sure I don't take any skin off and leave any... <laughs> no, <laughs> I say... no. no, I don't want to say it. <laughs> Probably not good to say. If people got mad at you for the spoon... <laughs> yeah, they're going to get mad. Be mad at you if I get skin in this in this dish. All right. And you can see I basically go down to about that far. So I don't take it all the way down, but that's about as far as down as you want to go. And really what it's doing, as you can see, it's really just making this really beautiful, really, really nice. So you're seeing it's very uh, coarsely chopped. I've done it in a food processor, but to be honest with you, I like this better. The food processor just pulverizes it too much and it gets too, uh, too tiny. This is really nice and chewy and it holds up really well under the high heat of the pan. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this grated and then we'll put all of this together. All right, so I've got this grated up nice and fine. Actually, it's still pretty chunky, which is really great. Like I said, you want a little bit al dente. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put in this pan some oil, and you can use avocado oil. I would recommend that probably over olive oil because avocado oil can handle higher heat, about 460 degrees where olive oil really starts to smoke a lot at that point, and you pretty much ruined it because you're gonna to start to turn a good oil bad by oxidizing it. I'm gonna to add to this a little bit of butter, preferably Kerrygold grass-fed butter if you have that. And then I'm going to let this start to just start to heat up a little bit in the pan. And then to that, I'm going to add onion. So this is about a half a cup of onion. Get this onion going. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and sweat this onion and get it to where it starts to get translucent before I put the garlic in. And I, what I did is I minced up some garlic. And the reason I do that is because the onion is going to take longer to cook and the garlic is going to burn. And one thing you never want to do, and for all of you, uh, you guys who are Italian, you never want to burn garlic. It makes it bitter. It makes it terrible. So you want to get it golden, but never bitter. All right, so this is looking great. Now, like I said, this is a simple dish. You can add anything you want to it. Later on, we'll talk about if you want to add some Reggiano Parmigiano cheese, a little bit of heavy cream, you want to make a risotto out of it, you can do that. Hi! Oh, uh, my kids just walked in and I'm videoing, so let's, yeah. let's keep it down unless you want to get in this picture. Say hi. Oh, my, right my daughter Victoria is going to say hi. This is my, my little daughter Victoria. Hello. My 16-year-old. What are we doing? We're making um, cauliflower rice. So cauliflower is good. I love it's that. Really good cauliflower. All right. <laughs> Thank you for that impromptu uh, entrance there. Love you too. All right. So now the the onion is starting to get some golden color to it, and now I'm just going to go ahead and put in the minced garlic. And the minced garlic is about you know six cloves, but you can put it to taste, whatever you like to do. You may want more or less. I know if you're in my household, you like a lot of garlic. Oh, there's my daughter Alexandria. I don't think she's going to pop into view because she just got done working out, so she's yeah. not feeling she's, yeah, she's not going to jump in us. All right, so we're going to let this go for just a little while. Then I'm going to add in the cauliflower and get that softened up, but I'm not going to overcook it. You want to be careful about that. Keep it nice and al dente because you do not want to destroy 
the vital enzymes and the nutrients in cauliflower because it is a cruciferous vegetable, which means it's very, very cancer fighting. So you want to make sure you keep this nice and fresh. Do not overcook it. I'm just going to give this another quick stir. That's looking really good. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of salt so that way it gets some of the water out of the onion because when you uh, sweat an onion, you want to get a little bit of the, the water out of it. Yes, it's a fact. All right, so that's ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and add the cauliflower to it. And like I said, depending on the size of the head of cauliflower you have, you might need a really big bowl or a really big pan for this. Save that because we're going to, I'm going to turn the heat up now. So now that the cauliflower is in there, it's going to absorb a lot of the heat. So I'm going to turn the heat up so I can get this process even more rapid. And you're only going to cook this for probably about another maybe three, four minutes. It's not going to be that long. And a lot of times, some of you have seen some of my other shows where I do cooking on the grill outside. This is a favorite for my family to take the cast iron skillet and put it right on the outside grill. That way you get that really great smoky flavor in there too. So this is on a higher heat right now. And I'm going to go ahead and start to season it up. Add a good amount of Himalayan sea salt. Lots and lots of minerals in there. Pepper, fresh ground pepper. And I can normally flip this around pretty well, but not with a cast iron skillet because it's really heavy. Just give this a stir. This is flying everywhere. We are really cooking here. All right, so I'm gonna let this go for a little while. I may, from time to time, add some more oil to it. I like to judge that based on how, how dry or how wet it looks. If it looks pretty dry and I wanna up my fats for the day, I'll just add more butter or more oil to it. But like I said, this is really great as is. You can put asparagus in it, you can put uh, broccoli in it, whatever you choose to do. You can make a seafood, uh, almost like a seafood risotto out of this. So it's so versatile and it's fantastic because you use it in so many different dishes. If you wanted to make a nice gravy and put chicken over the top of it, you can do that. Like I said, fish, and it's just, it's just phenomenal. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and taste this to see if the seasoning is done right. Yeah, it's spot on. But what I am going to do is add a little bit more oil to it because I like it a little bit more velvety. It's at this point where if you want to turn this into a risotto, okay, arborio rice from Italy, what you would do is just add some heavy cream. You could add some coconut milk to it, some canned coconut milk, and some Reggiano Parmigiano cheese, and you will have an absolutely fantastic dinner. And once again, like I said before, add anything else you want to it, whether it be seafood, whether it be poultry, whether it be you know, steak, whatever you want, it becomes a great side dish, or you can just put it right on top. It's a great base. All right, so this is finished up. Another seasoning I like to put on this, and you can put any kind of seasoning you want. Like I said, this is a, a blank palette, a blank slate. You can put whatever you want in. This is called Herbes de Provence, and this is from, I don't know if it's from France, but either way, it's a lot of different French seasonings, and this gives it a really, really great twist. One of my other daughters loves to put lemon juice on it, so you can do it any way you want. So I'm going to go ahead and plate this, and I'm going to have my wife taste test it. All right, look at that steam coming off. All right, get in here. What difference does it make? They're waiting now. Well, they're not waiting. They're waiting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But right. It's not too hot, is it? It's pretty hot. Ooh, it's, hot. It's, it's, it's steamy. So this is my official taste tester. Wow, look at that. It's like I'm getting a facial here. Did you? Is this the same spoon you used? To no, that's it? a new spoon. That's a new spoon. <laughs> Actually, I don't care. I've learned from that. You're my husband. Yeah, that's true. Oh. It's hot. hot. It's hot. Mmm. But how's the flavor? 
Very good. Now, you're not just saying that because you're my wife, right? No, <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> you know me. If I no. don't like something. I know my wife. If I the, can't fake that. Yeah, if she doesn't <laughs> like something, she definitely lets you know. You know, I get that. Oh, this is. Fortunately, yeah, I, don't, I don't hear that too often. Anyway. Well, not from your cooking. Good answer, honey. <laughs> I love that. Anyway. <laughs> We're going to put a link down in the description below so you guys can get all the recipe ingredients and the amounts. But once again, thanks so much. The macros, yep. Thanks so much for watching our show. Thanks so much for subscribing to our channel. And thank you so much for your support. We love and appreciate you guys. And also, too, watch out for the cookbook because it's on its way. It's coming. And all thanks right. again. I know I said this before in the last cooking video that I was in with him. I really do read your um, comments yep. and your testimonials. And you inspire me. And he's inspiring you, so it's kind of come full circle, and I'm still on this keto journey. I can't possibly inspire her. She doesn't listen to me. Well, you're no. my husband. <laughs> That's the way it works, right? Yeah. <laughs> you always hear better from other people. No, right. but the thing is, you're fit. And, well, but, and you know, but you're look, not a woman either. So, so. you'll learn that. It's easier for you. Okay. <laughs> either way. Thanks so much for watching today. Thank you to all our keto rock stars out there. We love and appreciate you guys. Yes. Keep up the great comments. Keep up the great results, the testimonials. I am loving seeing those. It is literally, like I said, warming my heart. So yeah. anyway, thanks so much for being here today. Love and appreciate you. We'll see you next time with Dr. Nick. Thank you. And Katie. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>